Internet is full of websites offering different kind of content. Entertainment, information, social connectivity, news, shopping and what not. You name it, internet has it. We are constantly scrolling through never ending stream of data. There is lot of data or content which you would want to share on your social media platform. Be it a tweet you liked or a trailer you watched or a funny video which made you laugh. You might have observed a lot of sharing buttons on the websites you visit which enable us to share the content on our social website. So that's where the API comes into picture. API stands for application program interface. It can be termed as set of functions that allow us to create communication between different kinds of web services or applications. To simplify the definition we can consider huge websites like Google, Facebook or Twitter as these web services. They have their own specific and different APIs. Programmer can incorporate functionalities offered by those applications into his own project. Programmer needs to send a request to a web service using API and the response generated by the application is passed on to API which can be used by programmer. The Facebook share button or the Twitter tweet button that you click to share the content, it's just the implementational part of API. Not only that, using API, you can also integrate the functions of some websites onto your website. For example, you can display your Facebook or Twitter feed on your web page. Presently, there are a lot of APIs available. For example, or if you check Google APIs, you'll find YouTube API, Social API, as well as Google Maps API. Other examples are Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, LinkedIn, Pinterest, SoundCloud, Spotify, Flickr, and many more. This series of tutorial is for Twitter API. We'll learn how to send requests for specific data, and we'll see how to use the data which we have received. We'll implement the functions and the libraries which are provided under REST API. You can also browse the Twitter documentation site to understand more about the different kinds of services provided by Twitter API. These are the prerequisites if you want to implement Twitter API on your website. It's really essential that you know a server-side language. For this tutorial, we'll be using PHP. You need to be familiar with JavaScript, HTML and CSS as well. You should have a proper functioning website with valid hosting and domain name or else if you're planning to run it on your local system you need to have XAMPP. It's necessary that you know JSON. JSON stands for JavaScript Object Notation. Let's talk about JSON. JSON can be termed as syntax for storing and exchanging data between different web applications. It's uh, an easier alternative to XML. It's uh, pretty much easy to understand and parse the JSON response. When you send a request using API, the response is returned in JSON format. So it's really important that you are familiar with the elements and the values that are involved. It's important that you know how to extract the elements and the respective values so that the values can be used in our website. In the forthcoming series of tutorials, we'll be working on our code from scratch. We'll send requests for data like a list of tweets, the user details or followers and we'll display those details that uh, data received on our page and we'll try to implement different kinds of uh, Twitter buttons for our web page. I'll see you in the next video.